Welcome to all of my collectors and friends who are checking out this video on an amazing vintage PSA graded card collection we recently purchased. I was contacted directly. And so I saw this very interesting email come in that says, Mantle, Namath, more vintage baseball, call. Sure. This individual told me that they found me through our podcast. I have one called Leighton's Loft, which is every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook. And he's been collecting for about, give or take, you know, 25, 27, 28 years. Almost that entire time was buying PSA graded vintage cards. This individual had the foresight to not only buy graded vintage, he was collecting vintage graded cards early on, but what I found amazing. And I've never seen before, and I don't know if I'll ever see again. He was buying vintage cards that were graded by PSA with strong eye appeal and really good centering almost 25 years ago. And I've never seen a collection in person where those efforts were made almost a few decades ago. So when I went up there, I of course wanted to buy everything. Buying everything would have been well over, I don't know, a thousand PSA graded cards. And so when I got there and I started to go through everything, I felt like a kid in a candy store, but I realized I had to kind of take a breath because I didn't think I was gonna be buying everything. And based on some of the conversations we had, he was still in love with many of the cards. And I was able to pick out hundreds of PSA graded vintage cards. And when I say hundreds, probably about 350. I wanted to buy all these cards and the intention was to maybe strike a deal to buy those. And then to go back at some point in the near future when he would consider selling more of the collection. The part that I'm leaving out, so about 25, 26, 27 years ago, when this individual and his wife started to get serious about buying PSA graded cards. But ultimately, several years later, this individual lost his vision. And of course, when I first heard this information, I was awestruck, I was set back, and I asked myself, well, how does someone who is in that position continue to collect cards? Well, the answer is a very loving and supporting significant other. His wife continued that journey with him for the next 20 years. And at first it was a little bit awkward and strange because there really hasn't been that many female collectors over the last few decades, at least from where this individual's from, but she fit right in. And more than ever, he felt very confident that he was choosing really good cards. And he continued his love of baseball and card collecting with his beloved wife. And really, as you can tell by me sharing this with you, I have goosebumps because this is real life. Even though I am treasure hunting and I'm trying to buy cards, I was extremely touched by how they continued to work on the collection, how he persevered, and he kept passion going for something that was so near and dear to his heart. So after going through his collection carefully and extensively, I pulled out about 350 cards. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. After some back and forth and negotiating, that initial list of 350 got shrunk down to about 136 cards. And I would have been happy with all 350, but I certainly would still be happy with 136. And the reason why he shrunk down the list, he loves the cards even still. And we spent a better part of almost two days, both evaluating, appraising, picking out the cards I was interested in, and ultimately finalizing the list to 136 graded PSA cards, mainly baseball, almost all from the 1950s and 60s, a few basketball and football cards mixed in, some of the highlights, of course, there's 28 Mickey Mantle graded cards in the collection. There is a gorgeous 52 Bowman Mantle, PSA 7. You guessed it, dead nut centered. But beyond the mantles, what I found really impressive is he tried to seek out some of the key rookies from that time period of the 50s and 60s. For example, the Pete Rose rookie. It's graded PSA 7. If that card was in a PSA 8 holder, you wouldn't think twice about it. It's a gorgeous, well-centered, amazing eye appeal, great color, I don't know if I've ever seen a better PSA 7 of a Pete Rose rookie. I'm anxious to get back to hopefully buy more cards or maybe the whole collection to be very clear because a lot of times when we do these videos, we're very happy to share with where the collection is from. But in this case, we're not going to because we're hoping that we're gonna be able to buy the rest of the cards. For stories like this and more, make sure you subscribe and like our YouTube channel and check out our blog for the full story behind it at blog.justcollect.com.